What's up guys, Warlock here, welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's having an awesome day. Today I have an Apex Legends video for you, and in today's video I'm gonna give you the top 10 tips to help you instantly improve in Season 7. Let's do it. If you guys are new here and wanna improve your gameplay, get better aim and other Apex Legends tips, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you guys don't miss out on anything. All right guys, so in today's video I wanted to break down some tips that I've kind of gone over to try to help players improve their gameplay and just get better at Apex Legends. Some of these are gonna be like basic, no-brainer ones, but it still seems to be concepts that people are just not doing, even though we're a year into Apex Legends and it's season seven. Players are still not doing this, and some of them are gonna be a little bit more advanced, so I hope these tips really do help you out and help you improve your gameplay, so let's get right into the tips. Tip number one is use your mic. Communication is everything in Apex Legends and how it separates teams from winning and losing in a lot of gunplay, in a lot of gunfights. Sure, you can ping and some players can do it very well without saying anything, but the better teams are always going to win more gunfights and win more games with the communication that they have over their mics. A lot of times when I'm playing, there's a lot of players who die or, you know, they get killed or whatever the case may be. And then they turn their mic on and talk and yell at their teammates. And it's like you had a mic this whole time. Just turn it on and use it. Use your mic, guys. It's going to help you out. And I know sometimes you don't want to use your mic. You don't want to talk to randoms. And in pubs, sure, it might be fine. It's okay. But if you're going to be playing ranked, then you definitely want to be using your mic in Apex Legends. So turn that thing on. Tip number two, play a mobile legend, okay? It's Apex Legends Season 7. I know everybody has their mains. But use a mobile legend. Olympus is an incredible map. I've actually come to love it a whole lot, especially over World's Edge. It doesn't beat Kings Canyon OG, but it is a very, very good map. And I advise you, use a mobile legend. This map is designed to help mobile legends out. Pathfinders, Horizons, Bloodhounds, you know, when you pop an ult and you got the increased speed. Like, use mobile legends in the game. Or even Octane. Octane soars on this map, guys. So try out some different legends. Use some. Change up your, you know, your, your main legend. And use some that helps the map to your advantage. Tip number three, guys, warm up in the firing range. I cannot stress this enough, guys. I've talked about this in a few of my guide videos and tutorial videos on how to improve your aim. But one thing that I can tell you for sure is that every day before you get on, spend 10 or 15 minutes inside the firing range just practicing on the dummies, using all a, whole, a wide assortment of different guns that you think you're going to use, not just your main ones. You know, just you go into the firing range and just warm up. Do different drills that you've seen from... You know, some of my tutorial videos on YouTube or other people's videos on, on YouTube just to help warm your aim up, keep your hands warm and kind of get you in the mood, you know, to play Apex Legends. You know, it's kind of, it's just like any other sport, guys. You don't want to go in just cold, not warmed up, you know, not doing basic drills and stuff to keep your aim and everything precise and on and on point. So make sure that you go into the firing range and just warm up. And this is going to help you feel a little bit more confident, too, when you go into these games, whether it's pub, pubs or ranked, you know. You want to go into the firing range and just warm up, do some drills, get your aim down, use different attachments. You know, I would start not using any attachments because it's much harder to kill people with no attachments on your guns than it is, especially now with a year into the game and everybody's aim is insane. But go into the firing range and warm up, guys. Tip number four, be a good teammate. Okay, I cannot stress this enough. I talked about this in another video, guys, but... You want to be the best teammate that you can be. And a lot of times you're going to be stuck in situations that suck or they may not be the best one, but you need to be the best teammate that you can be. No other game on the planet is going to be good with just somebody doing a solo act. That's just not going to happen, and especially in Apex Legends with how good players are nowadays. You want to be the best teammate. That means following them into a sticky situation, you know, maybe trying to help call out stuff, team shooting, you know, healing and resing your teammates, you know. And the biggest thing, do not back out of the game, even if it's pubs. I see that so many times players just get knocked and they just back out. Don't do that. Be a good teammate. Stay inside the game and have fun. The more you try to go with this mentality and think about being a better teammate in Apex Legends is going to help you out incredibly. Okay, you're not going to notice it at first when you're doing it, but you'll start to notice when you're winning more gunfights consistently. Not just winning gunfights, but consistently winning gunfights over and over and over again. You know, if you win 10 to 1 gunfights, you know, that, that means that you're being a better teammate and you're making the right plays to help your team out in Apex Legends. Tip number five, use different guns, guys. I cannot stress this enough. Everybody wants to go, hey, I need this gun. You know, I prefer to use this gun because it makes me at my best. And that's all well and good. 
but use different guns. There's going to be a lot of times when you land and loot that you cannot get the guns that you want. There's so many times when I land at estates that I want an R9 and there's just none around or I don't even see one in the entire game. Okay, the R9 is probably one of my favorite guns, but I just sometimes I don't have to use it. There's other guns that I like to use. Flatline and Volt, Flatline Triple Take. You know, I will definitely use the R3. You know, I'll use the Prowler. I'll use another sniper rifle. Spitfire, even the Devotion, the Havoc, even without Turbocharger, if I can help, you know, hopefully I can have the Turbocharger, but you want to use different guns. The reason for this is because you want to get used to the recoil patterns and the, the strengths and weaknesses of all these other guns, so that way you can use them in Apex Legends. The biggest thing about this is, is that you'll know the strengths and weaknesses of when a team is using these guns against you, especially like the G7 Scout, sniper rifles, hemlocks, all this stuff. So if you face down a team that has all sniper rifles, then you know that they only have one close range gun. So if your team can push up and just make it a close range engagement, the majority of the time those players are only going to use their close range gun and not ever switch to their their sniper rifle and then you just have the advantage although i will say if someone does have a triple take that thing is a shotgun so just be on the lookout for that but yes use different guns guys it's going to help you out in the long run not only with just getting used to using those guns but just the knowledge of facing down opponents who have those guns tip number six guys this is a big one more advanced one and i know a lot of players don't think about it i know i do it all the time after you know i lose a gunfight or i get eliminated from the game it's always think about what you could do better as a player a lot of the times you know players just pass blame you should have done this you should have done that you know if you wouldn't have done this if you wouldn't have done that no you don't need to think like that what you need to think about is what i could have done better this took me a long time to do in Apex Legends because I thought I was really, really good and I thought I just knew all the tricks and I just knew everything, but that's not the case. There, you know, you always want to think about what I could have done better. Could I have rest? Could I have retreated and reloaded and healed? You know, could I have helped out in just team shooting that one target to give us the advantage in numbers? You know, did I make the right play using my abilities? You know, did did I carry grenades and try to use those to my advantage? You know, anything that you could have done to make yourself better you know are my comms on point anything like that in any situation especially when you lose a gunfight or in a situation when you're rotating you want to think about what you could have done better as a player and when you look at this and you reflect on it it's going to help you out in the long run and you just want to stay positive and keep thinking about what you could have done better in apex legends tip number seven guys learn the map and loot spawns this happens a lot in apex legends a lot of teams just happen to go i like to land here you know, after landing in a couple spots, I just like to land at this spot, you know, whether it's not a lot of teams go there or, you know, you just want to land way off in the distance at Orbital where there's not a lot of loot, but nobody goes there. You know, you need to learn the map and pick different locations to land, whether it's POIs or not. Respawn has done such a great job at introducing locations that you can land that aren't point of interest that have loot and have good loot. So a lot of times that players will exploit or pick where, hey, there's always gold items that spawn here, like Elysium, you know, but you don't always want to go there. That place is hot. You know, you want to go to other spots that have good loot or even marginal loot where you can use them to your advantage and rotate out. You know, for me, my favorite drop spot is Estates. I love dropping Estates. It always has good loot. The majority of the time, there's a beacon and a crafting station there. So you always get good loot. We always, most of the time, come out with blue armors. And you always got good loot and ammo and you got heals and shields. So pick a spot. Learn the map, land at different spots, see what works for you, and just, you know, do trial and error. See which spots have better loot for you when you land. See which ones don't. See, you know, how hot certain places are to drop. Just pick different spots to land, guys, and learn the map. I can't advise that enough. Tip number eight, guys, is try to remember the dropship. This, this is an advanced tip, and not a lot of players do. They just think they got the tunnel vision. They're going to go straight ahead, and they're just going to not worry about or think about anything else. But then they go, Why? wait, what? A team landed on me, and I didn't even notice, and then you're dead? Like, what you need to do is, if someone's not the jump master, or even if you are the jump master, try to look at see where teams are going. Okay, I talked about this in another video of mine, just to... You know, go over things that you should look to improve on in Apex. But one of them is definitely looking at where players land in the dropship. Like, where do they go? What's the path of the dropship? What are some of these things that you could do to see where teams are at so you can see where they're going to rotate from? I know, like, for example, if I drop out of states and a team lands at Elysium, there's a good possibility that they're going to rotate down to the to the low high construction area that's between estates and Elysium and that they could rotate to us. They do have the option to rotate to Oasis, but that's something you got to be aware of. So by the time you're done looting, you need to be looking out for those teams rotating into you. 
because a lot of times you can catch them off guard. Those can be easy kills. And if you're playing ranked, that's easy RP. So these are the things that you need to think about. Or, hey, half the over half the lobby went to the right side of the map. There's nobody on the left side of the map. So you could go to the left side of the map, loot up, come in, and then you can clean up a lot of fights. This is something you really need to look at and try to remember as you're playing Apex Legends. Tip number nine, stick with your team, please. Stick with your team, okay? Do not run off. Do not go do your solo act. Please just stick with your team and don't do anything else but that. I'm not saying you got to be holding hands, guys, but you definitely want to just stick with your team, have good team spacing, and just be a part of that, okay? You do not want to run off and do your own thing. I've seen so many players do this, and it's caused a lot of teams to lose. It's caused a lot of teams to just not win games, and people turn on their mics and go, well, why weren't you with me? You know, what What were you guys doing? And a lot of times that goes back to not having communication, not pinging, not, you know, everybody being on the same page because a lot of the times duos are going to stick together while the solo guy is off doing his own thing. So you want to make sure that you're sticking with your team. Please do not run off. It's going to help you out in the long run. The 10th and final tip, guys, there's been a lot of talk about how the Apex Legends community is very toxic, but I want to help remind you to always stay positive and have fun. Okay, this is probably the biggest tip. You know, a lot of players take this game very, very seriously, whether it's on a ranked level or, or, you know, a pub level, and they just get super aggro. I've seen this more in ranked games than I have in pubs, but you want to just have fun. If you're not having fun with a the game, then it's not you're not going to be making the right plays. You're not going to be having a good experience. You're not going to be doing any of that, and that's not a good way to play Apex Legends or any game for that, for that matter. Like, you don't want to be playing a game and not having fun. All right, you want to have fun with the game. You want to enjoy it. So please make sure you're doing that. And try to remind players who, you know, that you're teaming with or if you if it's a rando who has their mic on and it sounds like they're getting a little aggro, just try to help them, reel them in, make sure they're having a positive game, you know, a positive experience. And just have fun with it. Don't do anything else, guys. Have fun with Apex Legends. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope that these 10 tips help you out to help you improve your gameplay, guys. You know, I put a little bit of thought into this list, and it's just some things that I've noticed over, you know, the course of Season 6 and Season 7. So I hope that these tips really do help you out. If you guys did enjoy today's video, make sure to drop a like. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you guys don't miss out on future Apex Legends videos. And for me, Warlock, as always, guys, stay gaming. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.